All right, guys, we got to look at the Cybertruck because so far, prices of the Cybertruck, they might be cheaper than you think. It might not be like $60,000, $65,000 like some people say. It could be closer to the price of the current Model Y, which is 55 Gs. But today, we got to talk a lot about the Cybertruck because guess what? Job listings are up. If you guys are an engineer and you want to get a job at Tesla, well, guess what? The technician jobs, manager jobs, engineering jobs are all open for the Cybertruck, and it seems to be a whole entire list of positions. Right now, they're already going through the materials. You probably have seen several factory leaks of the robotic arm holding Cybertruck pieces. And right now, they're trying to hire as many people as possible. Remember, the first few Cybertrucks will come out this summer, which is going to be a select few. I'm guessing maybe 500, 700 cars. But that's really about it. Now, if you want to get the Cybertruck and you're a regular consumer like you and me, you're going to have to wait till next year in the summer or next year in the fall or late winter simply because they are not into that big mass of production yet. And they're still in the hiring process. They're still trying to get the giga presses in. And the factory is slowly being finished up while they're making the first few batches. So I'm very, very excited to see this. Now, there's already several leaks of the Cybertruck, and it's very, very exciting, even a drag race between the Tesla Semi. Now, the Cybertruck in this video is probably going to be the one that you're going to be getting. The windshield wipers are questionable, since Musk did say that he thought about maybe switching the one wiper to two wipers. And also everything else, like the front lights, the tail lights, the rear view mirrors, the wheels, they all add up, okay? Overall, the Cybertruck looks like a really, really good car. And remember, the taillights and the back are a lot different than the concept one because they kind of had to make it street legal. Now, if you also look at the size, you probably have noticed, huh, is it just me or does it look a little bit smaller? It does look a little bit smaller because apparently the original Cybertruck concept was so big, they couldn't even fit it into like American garage, let alone like a European street. So if you look at this, you know, Cybertruck looks pretty phenomenal, all things considered. Like, it looks like a really, really good car. Now I look at it, I've always kind of been questionable about the Cybertruck design, but this design actually looks pretty sweet. It looks like a pretty, I guess, manly looking car, and everyone's getting pretty excited. If they could make the Cybertruck with very, very clean exoskeleton finishes, and also just good software and it's very fun to drive, It's it might be one of the hottest selling cars out there. And guess what, it's extremely spacious and some people say it's more spacious than the Model X. So that's about it guys, you know, once again, factory jobs are open, so this is a big deal. We're seeing not only so many engineers, but even battery guys as well and maintenance planners. So see you later.